How are drugs smuggled into prison? Well, if you've been watching the news, one of the common ways these days is drones. Police have actually been chasing people in cars, controlling drones outside of prisons to do drug drops. Despite the media hype, this is still not the main way to get drugs in prison. The biggest way that I know of are people smuggling them in and guards and staff selling them to the prisoners. Only takes one guard to flood a whole jail and these guards are on low pay, on the front line, easily corrupted by the gangs and they can make shed loads of money if they bring drugs in because they don't have to go through certain searches and checks. In minimum and medium security you're sat at a table in visitation with your visitor. So visitors might bring a baby, drugs are wrapped in plastic put in the baby's nappy, prisoners distract the guards, while they're distracted the drugs are extracted, passed under the table in visitation and the prisoner shoves them in his behind. Most prisoners are involved in storing contraband inside their bodies because of the constant strip searches. After the visit, you gotta get completely naked, spread your buttock cheeks wide open, and the guard is basically crouched down, looking up your butt to see if any drugs are peeking out from these packages. The guys who specialize in smuggling are called mules. They pride themselves on how many packages they can store inside themselves without them peeking out during these strip searches. The mules get paid a percent of what they bring in. There is also a foreskin search for drugs, which I had to go through. It takes um, some getting used to, but I've done an entire video on the strip searches and the foreskin searches, so check that out if you want all of the gory details of that one. Post any further questions in the comments. Cheers.